Hello guys, Unique Aquariums here. I can't believe I just found this out. As you can see, this aquarium is flourishing with baby guppies. And, uh, well, yes, I'll explain this right now. Okay, so as you guys can see, some of the contents in here are from prior aquariums. This Amazon sword is from the 180 gallon. I took it out and uh, decided that it's not doing so good. Sickle has been destroying it. Tossed it in here. The leaves are slowly growing out. I have a little moss ball here. I need to clean this aquarium. The algae is growing really thick on the walls. But since it's a 10 gallon and I, and I packed it with so much contents, it is going to be very difficult. There's a little seashell that we got from... Uh, I think it's a uh, Prado Park. They had shells out there, and uh, this one was the most intact one. A little pieces of logging. You know what I mean? Driftwood from prior aquariums. Java moss is growing really thick on it. Back in this big old bush, there's a. Uh, for the most part, it's, it's an Anubis. And this is an Anar An Ancaris. I gotta put the name up somewhere. I'll show you guys what it really is. Um, as you see from the top, there's lots of Monte Carlo, and there's some embedded in the bottom of the, not the bottom bottom, but as you guys can see, it's they're attached to other plants. We have the 10 gallon LED light, 10 gallon um, Aquion filtration system, and this one's pretty cool. It has a has a little little thing in above that you put in there and it notifies you. I'm not I forgot what for. I don't know if it was to uh clean out the cartridges or what. As you guys can see it's super dirty but I don't really need to maintenance it as much people normally do because it's a planted aquarium. As you guys can see this is a a castle for my little princess. I think this one might be a Ludwigia and there might be more in the back. I'm not sure what the one in the back is. Let's see if I can get you a little look on it. There you go. Sorry for the ants. Here's are the the two guppies that are basically have made it and created this whole family. So back when I was out in LA, we got uh I think we got this guppy from Petsmart, I'm not sure, but we had another guppy that was a light colored in comparison to this guy, it was totally different. And uh, he just he just passed. I guess it was overcrowding. I, I wasn't. I'm not sure why he passed. But um, he, yeah, he had a nice little color to him. Never got any pictures, sadly. He was more of a light on the lighter side. This guy's super dark. This guy is from those little nano aquariums that I've been showing you guys. And uh, I asked my wife, which one is your favorite? And uh, she chose this one, and we brought him over here. And now they're making babies. So. And also, you guys can see these are two cardinal tetras. <clears throat> no third one since that one passed also. I guess it was over due to overcrowding. I'm not sure. This is just a 10-gallon aquarium. Nothing special. This rock is uh, it's like a greenish-bluish. It was another choosing of my wife's. And this is w one thing that I want to show you guys. This is a really unique thing right here. The volcanic soil, obviously, is to grow the plants. And what we have above it is another choosing of my wife's. This is just a fake gravel that's just for the looks. And, uh, you know, it has a really unique look to it. And as you can see, the plants are growing pretty decently through it. And I don't know, to me, this is kind of a unique aquarium because I don't really see aquariums that people post that, that they have obviously the growth at the bottom and then the look at the top so this is so far this is the 10 gallon aquarium for my daughter and it's a work in progress I might transfer it to a 20 gallon that I have at my dad's out in Riverside and also this is the CO2 system that I've had for my 20 gallon I put in this one so it has a 20 gallon system for CO2 
And uh, if you guys have any information on that, putting a, a higher CO2 capacity into a smaller aquarium. Well, there you go. She wants to know too. Uh, you guys, uh, give me some information on that, and uh, if it's ben if it's a benefit or if it's a, a curse, I would like to know. I wouldn't want to screw up this aquarium any more than I had screwed it up. And that's basically it, guys. Unique aquariums, and I'll be posting more soon. As usual, I take a long time to post my content, but when I do, it's I feel like it's pretty good. All right, well, you guys have a good day, and uh, take care. Peace.